something it go here like this okay so one what are the error we are getting we'll try to import all the components okay displayed columns everything so basically what we are doing what all the error we are getting work here we need to import these modules so that we can able to use it in our html file all right so now so now the first component which i'm going to use is let's say at the imports okay at the imports all right so just type it like this common common module okay so this has been imported successfully the next module which we need is match material okay yeah obviously we need the uh, paginator module so okay the material table module yes we need it next it is trying to generate by itself i material sort yes sort module yes we need this and what what next we need material form field module yes we need this because it's a form as well and the next thing what we need uh, input module as well so yes see it's it's showing by itself what all see here we have type and here uh, these are the modules which is required to solve this error so it's trying to import by itself and what are the other modules we need uh, material icon module is not required because we are not using any other uh, modules except these right so one two three four five right so we are going to use five different material models so now we are getting this error let's fix this just how your mouse work here and you will get an option quick fix oh wait not it's not trying to import it so let's let's do that okay so now we auto generate so okay what i'll do let me try to import this manually but and let's see basically it needs to import by itself import this okay it got imported all right the form field got imported so how, how about this one basically we'll get this directly but i'm not sure why it's not getting I mean, it's not showing the import option so but yes so mat input module tab space and import at paginator module done and import match sort module it's done so next we have match table module it's done. done everything is done so now if you see most of the errors are gone which related to form field and everything apply filter everything data source will we're gonna fix this one by one all right so everything is done work here the next thing what we're gonna do we're gonna use the display column okay before that let's see how our output looks like anyway we have error it should throw error let's see whether it's showing error so the output looks like this because we're getting the error we need to fix this error over here all right so let's come back to the code again okay so material table component yeah so first thing data source so there's an issue with the data source i've just copied the same name so that i won't make any spelling mistakes over here data source is equal to new Ma uh, material table data source and we need to pass that data source value so i'm going to give this instead of element data i'm going to make it as any type of data i'm not specifying a particular type of data which i want to use so that's why i'm going to give as any method all right so you're getting an error just how your mouse the quick fix and import it all right so this has been imported correctly so any also we're getting just how your mouse quick fix Oh, why the any is giving error okay we'll check that all right so now one more thing we need is displayed columns so what are the different uh, columns you need we need id we need name email and role so just tab button we got our display columns names so because we here we are specifying the okay all right so no problem okay yeah so the first is going to be id and second name is correct and third one is going to be role and third one is email id oh wait this is going to be role and this is going to be our email id all right so everything is done so now what we'll do we'll create one constructor all right so constructor constructor like this and the constructor has been created over here so why it's going error like this oh oops 
me do control z okay so let me create one constructor constructor like this and inside this constructor what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna like this way private data service and what's our data service name so let me come to my data service name data service.es i'm just going to copy the name so that there won't be any spelling mistake so i'm gonna keep it over here means i'm creating an object of data source. so let's import this quick fix add import so here the data source has been imported correctly all right cool so now this is how it's going to be but by the way it's giving error oh wait 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 the reason because i specified this as a type as method so we need any type of data right so we need to give any before it was auto generated right so i got confused work here so we need any type of data any type of data we are not specifying the type so if you create a model class for this particular data service means you can specify that model type okay so or the class type so now i'm giving any type so that any type of data can come over here all right cool so the next thing what we need is okay as of now let's see how much error got solved so apply filter is there and what is the okay cool no problem so let's type it one by one so first let's create our apply filter method okay apply filter all right so event is event tab space and if you see it's been auto generated automatically so i'm going to give tab space directly so basically apply filter it's going to apply the filter and this all this code we are getting from the material dependency all right cool so now everything is done and one more thing which we need is we need to create one initialization which is like this ng okay ng after view event okay after the view event so here it's giving the generated value itself means from the data service it's trying to get the data so i'm going to do it like this tap space so this is going to generate the data so like this enter and data okay so data we got work here so one more thing what uh, what we need is this dot from the data source we need the sort as well so sort this dot sort and next we need the paginator as well so we need all this to be connected for our data service so that we can able to play with our data okay so data uh anyway it's not required to specify any okay so yes we are getting one error so let me check what is the issue so the error we are getting this because of missing parenthesis so now the error has been called for applying sort so now we don't have any error with this so we have this so that will fix it and now the next thing is so there is an error with the sort and page in the reason because we need to specify the the sorting and paginator from the material dependency to do that we're gonna use something called at view child view child okay match sort sort done okay and same way we're gonna use it for the paginator as well okay so match sort match sort match sort paginator everything is done so why we're getting error quick fix import and match sort quick fix import done so we are getting error for this as well so it's not actually we're going to give not valuable all right so basically why we are giving this is uh at view child match sort sort so this okay this tell typescript that sort will definitely be assigned for the view initialization okay and the paginator this ensure paginator is very uh, never null when used okay so this is gonna keep not null all right so never null when it's being used so match sort and paginator exist only after angular render the template all right so means until unless the dependency loads perfectly this is not going to be loaded all right so this only exists only angular has rendered the template all right so cool so now uh but still we are getting error let me check is there any uh um is there any thing related to the error i mean 
Let me look correct. Why it's something? Oh wait, 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 wait. The parenthesis has opened over here. I have not closed this semicolon. So this error is gone. But why we have error in the sort still? So let me check. So a small change. Alright, so now we don't have any error over here in material table compound or TS. Alright. So yes, so now everything is done over here. So now what we are going to do, we're gonna check. Okay. So let me close this particular file and also if you see so now we don't have error oh we do have error okay why let me format this okay so now we don't have any error in material table com.ts or com.html so now if you see our output our output is going to look something like okay it's loading okay something like this the reason because see if you see we have all the options everything is not working properly the reason because of the CSS. So CSS I'm not gonna explain. I'll give the CSS properly and the basic CSS you can able to understand very easily. So I just added some for the table for mat uh, format width and bottom everything. So just added simple alignment over here. So for now, if you see the output is going to look something like this. Alright. So now as of now the data value is not fetching, so we're gonna check and we'll do that now. Alright. So we need to do few more modifications one by one. So let's do that. Okay. So that's reason, uh, the reason why the animations or the material is not working over here because if you want to use those material means we need to add some configurations. Alright, see this just normal HTML is showing. Okay, this just normal HTML uh, data or the design is showing. So if you want to use the material values or material essence means we want to use uh, or we we need to add some configurations over here all right so for in the providers okay so just open app.config.ts the providers so let me remove these two okay okay anyway we need this let me give a comma and routes okay we have provider routes and uh, asynchronization is not required Right, so we need provider routes is required. So we gonna means I'm gonna add provide 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 animations not just animation. Okay, provider and and the second one we need is provide 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 HTTP right. Okay. So these are the two things. So we are getting one error over here. Just hover your mouse and just uh, click on quick fix. This is going to import those as well, right? So all this has been done. All right. Okay. Here. So now let's see our output. How it is going to look like? So output is something like this. I think somewhere something is missing. All right. So let me check one by one. So first thing which we need to check is app.compound.ts and here we have included only one material. The one thing which we need uh, which we need to use is common module. So common module is required for us to use so that we can able to see our actual output. So common M O D U L E common module. Okay. So just import this quick fix import done and we have already used that model com uh, common model here as well so now let's check our output how it's going to look like so still it's not loading the data properly let us check one by one so where is the, let me close all the files and let me check this one by one so first let me check the material table common or html so here we have apply filter filter everything is done ID name email column the element dot value is also set so now let me go for material table common or TS. so we have display view child uh, ng of uh, after view event oh wait wait see I have used angular after event installation but I have not I am not implementing this actually so to make sure see 
first thing if you see our output oh it's been loaded oh it's been loaded okay cool great it's been loaded so the, if you see the filter and everything see we need to use one more the step has been missed which we are using angular after event implement obviously we need to implement it like this implements after view event so we're getting an error just hover your mouse and click on quick fix and update done so now if you have to go to our output our output is going to look something like this so let me refresh so there's an issue with the filter i'm not sure why so what i'll do i'll just stop the application and I'll, and i'll start the application again and i'll go over here okay so let me stop this application and i'll start the application again so just give us ng sub and click on enter all right all right the application has been started so now let me go to the browser again and, and i'll do a refresh getting refreshed all right so now it's been loaded successfully all right so i think there's an issue with the i mean the dependency has been not loaded properly so now it's been loaded so now if you see all our data and let's say here I have added only a few data right so let me add few more data over here at the in the table okay so what i'll do let me go to the table over here and for the data service.ts and here i have added only 10 data let me add a few more let's say to 20 okay so give a comma and enter here so all this uh code you'll get you can download from the uh download from the description all right so now let me go to our output and our output looks something like this so let's search let us check how it's working let's say i want to search for sam so now we are getting sam filter is happening and i want to search for chris chris or captain or america america okay america we don't have all right so let okay anyway this is working if we want to filter by role or the uh, like admin so now it's been filtered by admin and filter by user so it's getting filtered by user as well so now if you want to filter with the mail id as well so let's say stark all right so it's getting filtered as well work here and so this one ascending and descending filter all right so now it's getting started from uh, 20 19 18 17 16 getting from the descending order all right so now names from the as uh, ascending order now from the descending order even for email also ascending and descending and if you want to remove the filter just click on the third time based on role like this all right so now our entire application has been built successfully right. so that's how our angular material table works so we have implemented sorting all right so we have implemented sorting over here like with the filter and we have implemented sorry we have implemented filtering and we have implemented sorting and also the pagination over here the paginator which we have used making our data more interactive and user friendly so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to click or like this video and share and subscribe uh, this learning mighty channel as well also let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want a uh, tutorials on specific topics uh, i can make it for you and we have a very good team who can bring that content for you